all of you would have guessed till now, this is inspired by Ashwarya Rai's first red carpet appearance on Can this year. So it's like a tradition with me that whenever Can happens, I have to repeat it ever since like 2013 when I first did Sonam Kapoor inspired Can look, which was like one of my favorite looks till date because it came out so well and like it just matched the look a lot as well. So it's like one of my favorite looks. So every year I do a Can inspired makeup look, especially what Ishwarya, Katrina, Katrina is not going to be there this time, or Sonam wears. So yes, this is the look that I've come up with. Which to be very honest with you guys, when I saw it on the I was like, hmm, do I like it? or do I like I was very dubious when I saw it because somehow in some photographs she's looking extremely stunning and then some photographs are like what so yes I don't know if it's the camera angle or the lighting or what but I still went ahead and I was like let's just try it on myself because a lot of you guys were wanted to see this look so when I tried it on myself I was like yes I love it I really like how this look has turned out with a subtle ombre brown lip and just blue blown out beautifully darker on the lower lash line, lighter on the upper eye and there's an ambulance but yes I really like how the look has turned out and yes please don't mind my hair they have been in a bun for 3 days and now they have a life of their own so not gonna go there so yes if you wanna know how I got this look then please keep on watching so I'm starting off by taking a makeup fixing spray and I'm gonna mist it all over my face because my face needed a little extra something and by the way the scar is by itching a lot and it became into a scab so please don't mind that. So I'm just gonna spritz this all over my face as I said and then I'm gonna move directly onto eyes and I'm taking Inglow under makeup base as my eyeshadow primer and I'm applying it all over my eyes as well as on the lower lid because we're gonna be putting shadows there as well. Then I'm going to take Color Essence HD powder and this is quite yellow in color so I'm going to apply it all over my lid to set my primer as well as make sure there is no discoloration visible. So I'm just doing that with the help of this brush. And then I'm going to take this Absolute Eyeliner from Lakme in the shade blue and I'm going to apply it on my outer lash line as well as in my crease. Taking an angled brush, I'm going to extend the winged liner outside and I'm going to make sure it matches my other eye and I'm going to take this from the outer corner as well, just connecting both of them and making sure they look as even as possible. And then I'm taking this Mermaid vs Unicorns palette by Makeup Revolution and I'm picking up this Ultramarine Blue and I'm going to set my liner with this. She had a lighter shade of blue on the upper lid and a darker shade of blue on the lower lid. And if you did not notice by now and I don't think I've said it but I'm going to be using only the products that are easily available in India so it's like a yay thing. Anyways, then I'm going to take a pencil brush and blend the edges out so they are more soft and you know just diffused like hers were. And then taking Maybelline the Nudes palette, I'm going to pick up this pearly shade from here, the second row and I'm going to apply it all over my lid where I don't have that blue. This colour wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be but still it's a nice base. If you don't want a lot of pigmentation, go for this. But I'm going to be spritzing my brush and then I'm going to pick up the first shade from this Essence All About Sunrise palette and it's a beautiful shade and this was way more pigmented and it looked quite metallic like hers and I'm just going to pat this on my eye. Using the same pencil brush making sure everything's well blended and diffused and then I'm taking these makeup removing wipes and I'm gonna clean my wing so that they're not you know kind of messy if you do get a little messy you can always do this and then I'm also gonna generally wipe my face for any fallouts which weren't there but you know you gotta do what you gotta do prevention is better than cure so yes we're gonna do that and then I'm just taking a highlighting shade and I'm going to apply it on my brow bone. I think I picked up the first shade from the Nudes palette which was a matte shade. This will also diffuse the blue further. Using Color Bar Primer, I'm going to prime my face for foundation. So I don't know what I'm doing here but yes, I'm going to start as usual from the centers of my face and work my way outwards and then massage this really well into the skin. Using these two foundation, I will have the shades in the bottom part. I'm going to apply it on my face with the help of my fingers first and then I'm going to blend it out. This will give me a flawless, flawless look, which obviously if you're walking the red carpet, you've got to be flawless, girl. So yes, I'm just using my Pat Beauty Blender to blend it out, making sure I'm very careful around that wing because we don't want to ruin our hard work. So yes, I'm just going to blend everything out now. 
and then I'm gonna take infallible alone this is a perfect shade for me but currently I'm extremely tan so this is lighter for me as you can see so I'm just gonna use this as my highlighting concealer I did not want it to go with the concealer on top because I was lazy like that so I'm also gonna highlight the other areas because she did not have a crazy highlight and this doesn't look crazy this looks very natural as it's like my normal shade which is a little lighter for me due to my tan currently so yes I'm just blending this out as well and then I'm setting it with the same color essence powder because it's yellow it does the deal and I'm also setting any other concealed area then I'm going to take that same liner and apply it on my lower lash line you don't want to go on your waterline with this and from the same Mermaid vs Unicorn palette I'm picking up that blue not the purple I don't know why my fingers on the purple and I'm just using a pencil brush and then smudging this down this is what will give the dimension to the eye so make sure you take your time with this and then taking Catrice, Cole and Kajal, I'm going to line my waterline with the help of my Pack Beauty Blender pushing my eyeball out. That sounds gross but yes that's what we're doing. I'm also going to tight line, she did not have any liner on but she did definitely have a tight line going on. And then taking the one mascara by Oriflame, I'm going to apply it on my lashes. I will be adding lashes, false lashes off camera. But yes, if you don't want to go for false lashes, go for a couple of coats of a good mascara and you'll be good to go. Believe it or not guys, we're not going to be contouring today because she didn't have a contour. So I'm just using a bronzer. I'm just going to slightly bronze up my face. She had a very slight bronzer. I'm not going to contour at all. I'm just bronzing up the outer parameters of my face and that is it. She had a beautiful peachy orangey blush going on. So I'm taking this one from Makeup Revolution. It's a liquid one so you got to shake it before you make it and then I'm just using a duo fiber brush to work this into my skin I really like this formulation it's sheer you gotta layer it up and it looks just like skin it's like your skin just got flushed and it looks quite beautiful so I'm just doing that to my cheeks and then I'm taking Essence I Love Runway Highlighter she did not have like a proper highlighter going on but she had like a glow from within thing and this highlighter is perfect for that so I'm just applying a little bit and then blending it with my fingers on the tops of my cheeks and I'm also gonna go on my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, the normal areas, you know the drill, right? And I'm also using my beauty blender to blend it all out. Taking color bar, eyebrow pencil, I'm gonna first brush out my brow so there are no knots in it. Although it's not that long that it will have knots, but still. And then I'm just gonna go in short strokes to fill in my eyebrows. She had really natural brows and that's what I'm going for as well. Combing them out again just to make sure the natural factor stays there. Moving on to lips, she had like a brown ombre so I'm taking Mauve Bun from Maybelline Lip Gradation. This looks quite pink in here but it's actually a little bit more brown on me. And even here it looks quite pink but it's not that pink, trust me guys. And then I'm just gonna apply it on the periphery of my lips because she had an ombre lip as I said. So I'm just applying it on my periphery and for the centers of my lips I have another Maybelline Baby. This is one of my favorite nude shades, it's Mysterious Mocha. And I'm just gonna apply it on the inside as you can see me doing here. And because she had extremely glossy lips, I'm going to be taking this Intense Butter Gloss from Miss Claire and in BG11 and I'm going to top this off with that. So with that, I finished my Shkara Raya Bachchan Can Inspired Makeup Tutorial. I saw her today's appearance as well, like red carpet number 2 appearance which she's wearing, in which she's wearing a golden gown again but with like burgundy lips and wing liners and died died on spot she was looking drop dead gorgeous so yes if you want me to do that look don't forget to comment that below as well and i would love to do that for you guys so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then don't forget to comment and subscribe it would mean a lot to me also don't forget to check out all of my social media which will be listed in the bottom bar and yes i will see you guys next time till then take care bye